hey guys in this video what we are going to do is we are going to log into uh, teams admin center and uh, do the required configuration for uh, direct routing and see how does it work right uh, so let's log in so admin.teams.microsoft.com and once you log in uh, you will notice like you are logged in with your um, user id so the first and the foremost uh, let's validate whatever users we created in uh, microsoft 365 admin center are appearing here or not so if you look here the users are appearing here so which should be good now uh, i am not going to take you through each of these steps so let's go and directly and configure uh, the configuration for direct connect direct routing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on add here in direct routing add a sbc and then once i click on add an sbc what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it as 5067 only and most of the settings i'll leave it as default media bypass will uh turn it on and bypass mode will make it as always preferred country or region for meter traffic will make it as india and now what we are going to do is we are going to leave it as as it is and make this as enabled and then finally we have to add the fqdn here on the top i'll mention it as sbc dot our domain name our domain name is uc collaboration dot online so i'm going to make it as sbc dot uc collaboration online sbc i'll put it in description as sbc whatever you want to give and then click on save so once you do this right so you will notice like uh, there are some errors appearing here so firstly you will see a red um, indicator on this particular SBC. second is a network effectiveness tls connectivity sip options ping right now if i copy this let's say sbc dot user collaboration online you will notice like um, i'm not able to ping this so let's do that online so you see it is not able to identify um what is my um you know uh what is the address for it so which means like it is not able to uh, find a uh, find this fqdn um it is not able to resolve this fqdn to an ip address because this entry is not created on your name server so basically what we have to do is we have to come here in the name server we have to create a a record and put it as sbc dot uc collaboration online and point it to your public ip address of your um, um uh, premise or i would say to your company where your sbc is hosted right so you have to point it towards your sbc so that uh, whenever someone or whenever the call comes in it is trying to basically uh, hit this particular address and this address is resolved to your uh, public ip address of your sbc and make it as 3600 maybe i'll make for now i'll make it as 1.1.1.1 .1 or maybe 4.2.2.2 for testing purpose right but this has to be public address of your uh, sbc or maybe your on-premise device where which is going to route um, your calls to your spc edit record so i've just edit this record so maybe it will take some uh, time <clears throat> right i'll try to do a ping again so you see when i'm trying to ping sbc.uc collaboration online it is reaching out to 4.2.2.2 so which means like uh, now what i have to do is basically i have to basically point this sbc uh, dot um user collaboration dot online to my public ip address on my premise so i'm yet to uh, you know procure a public ip address so at this moment i'm going to leave it as 4.2.2.2 but however uh, i'm going to point it uh, sooner or later right so now we'll come to the admin steam center 
so second thing what we have to do is uh, uh, when we install uh, the sbc we have to make sure like we uh, do a required uh, tls certificate exchange uh, or installation on the sbc so that the connectivity between uh, this particular teams uh, and sbc is intact or they are working right so which i'm going to cover uh, sooner or later so at this moment um, uh, i'm just i've just created a sbc on uh, uh, sbc on the direct routing now what we can do is we can create some voice routes and then associate these voice routes to SBC. Okay. Calls to SBC. And then I'm going to make it as this is the dial number. And now here I have to enroll the SBC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add SBC and select this SBC and apply. So once you apply, you have to click on save, right? So I'll click on cancel here. So this is associated. Now this is also associated, uh, this particular voice route is associated to this uh, SBC. So whenever you're making a call, which will match this dial pattern, if the call matches this dial pattern it is going to take uh, this sbc to route the call and this sbc what it will do is it will try to resolve this sbc.uc collaboration.online to a ip address and that should basically uh, be an ip address of your uh, that should be basically a public ip of your uh, premise uh, on premise server or maybe audio code server sbc so which will accept all the calls provided that you have uh, done the tls exchange certificate exchange between them and you have also enabled options ping which will talk uh, down the line right so but uh, at this moment i just wanted to uh, you know show you like this is how you add uh, sbc in direct routing we have to do some uh, manipulation and configuration uh, down the line which we'll do it later but uh, this is just to show you how to add the sbc thank you for watching